I personally am uh, I'm more or less okay thinking about what those three things uh, mean, even though in this situation it's hard to think about acceleration that is not constant. Again, if you launch something up in the air and talk about it as a projectile, usually you just think about, you ignore everything, you know, you ignore wind resistance and all that, and all you have is the constant acceleration of gravity. In this situation, acceleration is not constant, so it would make sense that you could talk about the rate of change of acceleration, and it happens to be named jerk. I didn't make that name up, although... <laughs> Well, yeah, if you're looking for an example of jerk, I know that you, uh, not to name any names, <laughs> what would it be here? What would the, what would the function be? It's going to have a five. Sine, 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 sine of t. Sine of t, okay? So I want to, uh, to graph all these things, and I'm actually, instead of doing this lovely graph over here, let's look at it on a real thing, but this is the rate of change of acceleration. It's telling you how the acceleration is changing at any given time, if it's increasing or decreasing or whatever. It's the third derivative. It's the third derivative of position. J of t is the derivative of acceleration, or it's the third derivative, S triple prime of t. You don't very often talk about the, the third derivative in this case. You don't very often talk about jerk because it's not often you have a function that it has any meaning, right? Um, this is what, uh, if you're driving along in your car, this is what uh, causes you to, you know, if suddenly if someone slams on the brakes, if they're, if someone is uh, driving along in their car and you're the passenger and they're hitting the gas, they're accelerating and then they suddenly hit the brakes, they've changed their acceleration, right? They're not accelerate, they don't have a positive acceleration anymore. Now they have a negative acceleration. That change from one to the other is, that's what makes you fly forward or you know, your coffee spills or whatever. This changes in this make you spill things or make you fly forward or whatever. Not changes in acceler well, changes in acceleration, but this is it, right? This is describing how the acceleration is changing. All right? So that's why it's called jerk, I guess, right? A sudden change in acceleration is called a jerk. We know some other things that are called jerks too, but I wish I came up with this title here, a couple of jerks, but that's from the textbook. <laughs> Uh, but let's look at it. I mean, you can you can do those yourself. Let's look at the uh, the graphs of these things and try and make some sense of it. So uh, I don't know if you care about using this software, but that's the position, right? The the spring. Uh, remember, the spring starts. Um, the original function is positive, right? Original function is positive because it starts at the top and then it goes down and up and down, right? That's describing the position. So we're calling this S of X, right? And we'll stop right at the right place there, maybe if I'm lucky. Zero. Um, we're going to put in that, we're going to call V of X. It is the derivative of, derivative of, whoops, not that bracket, that bracket. Derivative of S, okay, and it should graph it there, right? Should we make that, uh, what color did I make it on the other graph? Blue? What's that? No, I put in derivative and it figured out. It's pretty smart, you know. Let's make that blue. Let's make it this big so we can actually see it. And now we want the derivative. We want A of X is, what is it? Derivative of V, right? Derivative of V. That's the acceleration. Let's make that a different color before we forget. What color to make it? Another one? Did I make it green or something? I think. I'm trying to make it the same as what I did on the other thing. So let's go that. Let's go this. I know as soon as you're given a choice, you care, but um, let's make sure all of these are the same thickness so we can see, right? And we want to show the actual function. Oh, I should have put the last one first. Now we want to really confuse things and put j of x, and we want it to be the derivative of a, right? You want it to be the derivative of a? I was going to do red, but you really wanted purple? Purple. <laughs> How about um, purple? You really want? How about this color right here? Is that different enough? Well, it's sort of. Uh, I'm really. I'm, <laughs> Uh, and we want to show name and value for all these. Okay, 
We have all of these things here except for where's the purple one? One I'm missing. What was the one I... Oh, I did it wrong. I didn't do that the right color after all that. Oh, I changed the wrong one to purple. It's all messed up now. Oh my goodness, this is too confusing. This was the one you wanted. See all that purple everybody's excited in. There, is that good? Are we happy? Oh, now I know what the problem is. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There, that's good, right? We need the we need the four function shown what it is. Okay, there. Wonderful. <laughs> Save before we screw this up. Okay, so we got all four of these things here, right? There's that. There's uh there's this is the velocity. You have the acceleration down at the bottom here, and then you have the, the jerk here. So let's uh let's just look at <laughs> let's just let's just look at the first three here. As the ball is leaving the top and it's starting to fall down, its velocity is becoming what? It's, well, I turned the wrong one off there. I was meaning to turn off this one. What's happening with the velocity? It leaves the top and it starts to fall down. The velocity is the blue one. The velocity is becoming more and more negative, right? The thing is traveling downwards the fastest right there when it's halfway down. That's when it's got its most negative velocity. That's why the blue curve is down here. And then when it gets down to the, down to the bottom, it's not traveling downwards anymore. It actually has zero velocity, and then it starts traveling back up again, right? I think we're okay interpreting the blue one, which is velocity, right? If you want to interpret the green one, which is the acceleration, the acceleration is describing how the um, how the blue one is changing, right? The the acceleration is going to be think about how where it's being accelerated and in which direction. When it's at the top, which which way is it being accelerated? Downward, right? Gravity's pulling it down. The spring's not pulling it up, right? It's being accelerated downwards, all right? It's got its most negative acceleration. That's why this is at a minimum here. It starts to fall down, and then in the middle, the spring and gravity are kind of balancing each other out, and then it gets to the bottom here, and now which way is it being accelerated? Up, right? Because the spring is kind of winning against gravity, and that's why its acceleration is as the most positive it can be, and then that just keeps cycling through. Here's where I have the trouble is to start to think about what this represents, right? That thing represents the rate of change of, of the green one, right? The purple one is the rate of change of the green one, all right? The green one is acceleration. The purple one is the rate of change of acceleration or jerk, right? If you start to think about here, acceleration is negative here. What is this graph saying? It's saying the jerk at the beginning is zero when this acceleration is negative one. The, the, the jerk is, um, is zero the, the same places where it's, the thing is at the top and the bottom. Okay, Jerk is zero at the top and the bottom. When it's at the top, jerk is zero. The place where the jerk is the maximum is right as it's passing through the middle, downwards and upwards, because the the velocity is changing, changing signs there. Okay, that's where the the slope of the of the green one is the is the maximum, right? The slope of the acceleration is positive one there and negative one there. It's hard to think about what it really means in reality, but hopefully that. Uh, that helps somewhat. Maybe um, just to think again about the acceleration. If we get rid of the velocity, acceleration in this case is that is a is a reflection of the position because when the thing is at the top, when the object's at the top, it's being accelerated in the negative direction. When it's at its positive position, it's being accelerated down. When it's at its negative position, it's being accelerated up. Right? It's the the that's the opposite. Right, acceleration is kind of the opposite of the position graph in that case. Anyways, um, most of that is to introduce a couple different things to introduce um, to introduce a, an application of trig derivatives. Introduce the third derivative. You don't very often talk about the third derivative, okay? The third derivative. In this case, you do. Uh, let me 